Hi everyone, welcome back to I Jump Instead. My name is Stephanie and thank you for joining me for today's 20 minute cookie monster routine. It's gonna be lower body focused. We're gonna be doing a vibration move and I want you to practice this routine because the better you get at it, the more efficient it becomes, the more calories you will burn. Let's get started with health bounce. We're gonna be extending the spine up as tall as possible and we're gonna be practicing our nose breathing today. So keeping the jaw closed, keeping the tongue at the roof of the mouth. Let's breathe quietly through the nose throughout the entire routine. So feet are planted against the mat, but the heels are bobbing off the mat. Let's extend the neck straight up, lengthening the spine. Now let's go ahead and pull the shoulder apart from the hip and rock side to side as we rock the shoulders and the hips simultaneously, starting to activate and open up the core muscles, the stomach wall, the lower back. Let's go ahead and face one direction where we pull that back shoulder down and the front shoulder up, back and forth, starting to really loosen up those core muscles. Let's rotate to the other side, going in deeper, keeping the breath quiet. Now let's go ahead and bring the shoulders, hips, and chin forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Five, four, three, two, and one. Golf twist, here we go. So keeping the hips forward, let's bring those shoulders all the way around so our chest face directly to the side. Keeping the jaw closed, chin up. Now let's go ahead and do a gentle twist. So the lower body twists, keeping the shoulders forward. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now, keeping the feet close together but not touching, let's jump side to side on the mats. We call this ski jump. And we're gonna be activating these leg muscles. I want you to keep your breath calm, quiet, and focus in on the form. It's always a good idea to feel into the movement Feel the knees activating, feel the quads and the legs. Feel the feet touching the mat. Try to keep the intensity of your form at a place where you can continue to comfortably nose breathe. Now we're gonna be jumping to the top and the bottom of our mat, just like this. Front to back, front to back. Feeling into the fronts of the legs, the glutes. This is just to activate those muscles. So connect with that activation. Beginning to feel those core muscles stabilize the body and activate. So the knees are just slightly bent here. Let's go ahead and switch back to ski jump side to side in three, two, and one. Continue feeling those core muscles engage. Make sure to sink the heels down into the mat to activate the backs of the legs, connecting with that quad activation as well. Chin stays up, jaw still is closed, breathing through the nose.
getting nice and warm here. We're gonna get started with our first move. It's gonna be speed walking. Let's go ahead and put feet, our feet in a wide stance. Let's bend our knees just slightly and let's just rock back and forth, starting that vibration motion. A little bit on the easier side. We wanna keep our neck long, our jaw closed, and the knees bent just enough to start feeling that activation in the quads. I also want you to lean forward just slightly into the balls of the feet and just press back and forth quickly, but staying in control. Relaxing your shoulders. Just get into this lower body focused movement, keeping the breath calm. Let those legs jiggle. That is exactly what we wanna do. Let's go ahead and bring our toes outward, staying in this walk here. Mind to muscle connection. Feeling the quads, inner and outer thighs, starting to really activate, really connect. We're not pushing deeply into the heels yet. We're pushing into the top half of the foot and vibrating those legs, letting those legs feel released so they can sway and access that acceleration both side to side and downward into the mat. We're gonna bring our toes back into a forward position in three, two, one, and keep walking, speed walking here. Let's pick up the pace just a little bit. We aren't pressing deeply, we're pressing lightly. We're pressing quickly. And the sky is the limit in this movement. We could be vibrating very, very quickly if we wanted to. We could keep it very slow. It's up to you. I want to honor my fitness level while keeping my mouth closed. I want you to join me. This keeps our heart rate in a zone two while we are activating the muscles simultaneously. It's the perfect recipe for fat loss and for muscle gain. One more minute here, making sure that we're still pressing into the balls of our feet. So letting those legs feel loose, shaking, jiggling, jaw is still closed, breath is still quiet. Keeping the movement in control, keeping the breath in control. Let's go ahead and rotate our toes outward, keeping up with the same pace in the movement. Knees are bent perfectly to help us to activate and at the same time not feel overwhelmed. You can bend your knees more for more activation. You can stand up a little taller. Just find that perfect bend in the knees to honor your leg strength your nose breathing capability. Completely relax the shoulders.
one more minute. Next up, we're gonna be switching into the hamstring and glute focused movement. Three, two, one, toes pointing forward. Let's stick the booty outward. Let's sink those heels into the mat and let's start to walk back and forth fast. And pressing in with the heels is going to really help to activate the glutes, but also pushing the glutes outward straight behind you. What you want to visualize is the lengthening of the glute muscle tissue, lengthening of the hamstrings. We want to stretch them, make them longer, push in with the heels. Keep the chin up, keep the jaw closed. Try to keep your feet moving efficiently, precisely, in a controlled movement, feeling into the heels, feeling into the lengthening of the glutes and hamstrings. Let's go ahead and bring our toes outward, continuing with the same pace, your perfect footwork today. Lengthen. Feel the stretch between the glutes and hamstrings. Let's bring our toes back to the forward position and see if you can try speeding up the vibration movement, staying in control, continuing to lengthen, which is the most important thing you can do right now. Stick the booty out, pushing in with those heels, jaws closed, chin, chest is up, Breath is calm and quiet, and the glutes are just burning, activating, developing, strengthening, stretching. One more minute here. Feel the strength coming from your hamstrings. Feel the strength coming from your glutes. Your knees are bent, your chest is up. You're pushing down into those heels using your glute strength. Keep those legs jiggling and shaking. Five, four, three, 
two, one, toes pointing outward. Two more minutes here. Try to vibrate as quickly as you can, staying in control. Lengthen the hamstrings, glutes, and all in between. Keep pushing those booty muscles straight out behind you. You might explore the vibration movement and try to go fast and see just how quickly you can push it staying in control while staying in the lengthening form. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. I want you to put your toes forward. I want you to fully relax your entire body. Your face, your jaw, your shoulders, your neck, your waist, your glutes, hamstrings, quads, your inner and outer thighs. Just feel the release. Feel the release in your calves all the way down to your toes. Feel the up bounce and the down bounce. Feel that wave, that pump, that release, that massage. Now I want you to give me a little jiggy Shake your booty muscles as we're still gently health bouncing and nose breathing. Now let's go ahead and put our hands on the bar and do a butt kick, two, three, four, kick, two, three, four. So lengthening those quad muscles. Just bring the heels straight up to the glutes, feeling that extension in the quads. Neck is long, jaw is still closed. Now let's go ahead and do some forward kicks while we bend forward into it. Feeling that stretch in the glutes and the hamstrings and the hips and the lower back. Point those toes at the top if you can, just the, for that nice deep stretch into the calves as well. Three, two, and one. Now let's go ahead and put our feet in a wide stance. Bring the chin down to the chest. Roll the head to one side, ear to the shoulder. Let's gently bounce here. Bring the chin back down, slowly coming all the way around, feeling that stretch in the back of the neck and bring the other ear to the shoulder. Five, four, three, two, one. We did it. We burned those cookies. We melted fat. We earned more cookies. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hit that like button if you like the routine. Comment below. Tell me how your legs feel. Was that the best workout of your life? It was for me. 
I so appreciate you being here. If you're looking for more routines from I Jump Instead, please go to our playlist section here on the YouTube channel. We also offer six live weekly workouts in our membership. You don't have to be present for the live session at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Sunday through Friday. You can be ready and available anytime. The videos are uploaded and stay permanent for members. And we're getting amazing feedback for these beginner friendly, incredibly powerful 60 minute workouts. So we would love to have you join us for our $44.99 per month membership. What an incredible deal. If you're interested in more from I Jump Instead, you can go to our website, ijumpinstead.com. We talk about the solar size rebounder that we prefer to jump on. We also have beautiful I Jump Instead merchandise available for purchase. Thank you again for joining me today. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe because we have more routines coming your way and you're going to love them all. Thanks again. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.